We're in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to set up a mail tip. And a mail tip is very similar to an out of office message in that when someone tries to send an email to the recipient, then they can set up a message saying that they can't respond or some other warning about them other than the fact that they're out of the office. So let's go ahead and click on the admin icon. And when we do, we're going to be taken to the office admin center. And in the Office Admin Center, we're going to see the Admin Centers in the bottom left-hand corner where we will click on Exchange. Let's go ahead and click on that, and it takes us to the Exchange Admin Center. When we go to the Exchange Admin Center, we'll see recipients on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and double-click on Jane Doe Smith. And when we get Jane, we're going to go to where it says Mail Tip. Now, I've gone ahead and added in, I can't respond until 3 p.m. And when I did, it automatically added this HTML body that you see here because it is sort of an HTM response. So if yours is blank, all you have to do is just type in the message that you want to type in, such as I can't respond until 3 p.m. And then click Save. And that takes us back to the Admin Exchange Center. So let's go ahead and click on my email and try to send an email to Jane and see what happens. Let's click on New, and we'll type in Jane, and we'll put in under the subject, and automatically as soon as I type in the or go to the Add a Subject line, I get a message that says I can't respond until 3 p.m. Now, this does take a few minutes to take effect, which is why I went ahead and set it up ahead of time and showed you where to type it in. Otherwise, we'd have to wait for it to kick in, which usually, like I said, takes a few minutes. So if I decide to go ahead and cancel my email because I know she can't respond, I can do that at this time or I can send Jane the email anyway. Go ahead and click discard and discard. And keep in mind that the there is a limit to the amount of characters to a 175 in your mail tip. And if you decide you no longer want the mail tip, you can just go right back into the user and you can clear out that mail tip and that will be the end of it. And when the user tries to send to that person, they won't get any kind of warning. So that's how we create a mail tip in Office 365.